Distinguishing between storefront, curtain wall, and window wall systems. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we review the key characteristics, attributes, and similarities of storefront, window wall, and curtain wall systems. So let's start to summarize our discussion of these three systems. So here's a section cut through storefront, typical storefront system, and a list of the main attributes. Some of these we've talked about, inside outside glazing. Inside glazing requires less equipment. Screw spline fabrication allows pre-building modules when it's installed from within the structure that cuts your labor costs down, equipment costs down. Uh, it's non-pressure equalized, water drains down the verticals to the sill. Here's a section cut through window walls, some of the characteristics of it. Typically, it's also inside glaze, which requires less equipment, uh, lower labor costs because you're all on the inside of the building. Screw spline construction allows pre-building modules. Everything's set from the interior. It is pressure equalized because each line of glass is independent of the others. Uh, drains down to the sill, very similar to what a storefront does. Here's a section cut through curtain wall. It can be inside out by glaze. When it's exterior glaze, which is very common, equipment is required to get to the exterior of the building that raises the installation cost up. It requires zone dams. It requires pressure equalization, zone dams for pressure equalization. Can't handle larger lights of glass. And a lot of times it's shear block construction and stick configuration. Now, if we look at these attributes and we start to group them together, here you can see in blue, attributes of a storefront system that are also part of a window wall system. And if you notice, these attributes are ones that make a storefront system more economical to use. And those economical features have been integrated into a window wall system. Now let's compare to curtain wall. Here are attributes that a window wall system shares with a curtain wall system. And if you notice, these all tend to make it a more higher performance system. So when you look at a window wall, it has a lot of the economics as far as fabrication and installation that you gain from a storefront system, yet it shares higher performance, closer to that of a curtain wall because it's used on higher applications. Here's a chart comparing the three systems side by side. You can see storefront, curtain window wall, and curtain wall. Typical module side for storefront is going to be about four foot by eight. Window wall grows a little bit to five by 10. Curtain wall can be considerably larger. Application of storefront, as we talked, first to fourth floor. Window wall typically begins at the second floor and can be used up. Curtain wall can be used any floor. Typical frame depth of storefront is four and a half to six inches. Window wall five to six and curtain wall ranges from six to 10 and a half. Now looking at air, water and uniform load, you can see that window wall is favored toward curtain wall. So it has higher performance levels, high performance testing standards closer to that of a curtain wall. Then for those of you in seismic areas, comparing storefront window wall, curtain wall, window wall performs better in seismic situations than storefront, but not as well as a unitized curtain wall system would. Now, if I put together kind of a matrix here showing storefront to curtain wall, have performance across the bottom, cost up the left side. You can see the storefront situated at lower cost, lower performance. Window wall tends to move up a little bit in cost and gain performance. Curtain wall moves up both again in cost and performance. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company Inc.